Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to carve a wood spirit. Uh, be sure to stick around and I'll give you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to do so. Make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get to it. Alright, so a wood spirit. Anybody know what that is? No? Yeah? Maybe? It's basically like a face in the tree. Um, when I think wood spirit, I think an old man. Long hair, long mustache, a long beard, and it's one with the piece. I'll probably just fire up the chainsaws and uh, we go from there. Here, okay, real quick, um, I'm trying to add links to the bottom of these carving videos for you guys. They're Amazon links. Those links will uh, be to tools that I use throughout carving videos. Um, when I use a tool in a video, I'll try to mention what that tool is and remind you that there's a link down in the description. If you purchase anything through those Amazon links, I get a kickback, I get some money for that purchase, and that money goes toward helping this channel grow, whether it be a new tool to show you guys, whether it be uh, maybe getting a new camera or a couple cameras in the future to shoot some better videos. Um, just stuff like that. So you can find safety gear, you can find uh, chainsaw attachments. Pretty much the only thing I can't get links to at the moment are the chainsaws I use because Amazon just doesn't carry a steel chainsaw, but they do carry attachments and grinders and all that cool stuff. So be sure to check that stuff out. Um, let's get going on this project. Though. All right, so you see this log here. We're going to be carving two wood spirits out of that. Um, I actually have an order for three of these. I've got one done. And right now we're going to lay that on the ground and cut it right down the middle to get two halves. Now those halves are each going to be a wood spirit. These are going to be meant to hang on the wall, outside, inside, you know, whatever the customer wants to do. So get this cut and then we'll get it in the jar. So I'm going to do my best to uh, to walk you guys through this. Um, quick suggestion, study some pictures of faces. Maybe whatever you're kind of looking to do, whether it's a woman or a man, old, young, whatever kind of face you're trying to do, just study some pictures. Even look up wood spirits and see if there's something you want to try to make. It'll really help to get your eye and your mind on the mindset of what, what you want to achieve. Um, get the picture in your head and then you get a little bit easier to, to get it from your head to your hands at least that's how it works for me so just trying to give you guys some tips of how I do it maybe that'll help you um, right now as you can see I got some pieces sticking up off here Let me get as you guys can see we got some branches sticking off here I'm gonna trim these back I'm not gonna cut them flush I'm gonna let them stick out a little so it'll still give this piece a little bit of character um, but the plan will be to have it kind of swoop down like hair kind of leave these knots, kind of make it look like bark once all the spark is is removed. Um, it is a good idea actually to just take a screwdriver or something, scrape all that bark off. I'm going to do that real quick and we'll come right back. Alright, so I've got you guys kind of close. You can see I'm going to be using the MS-250, trim these off and start shaping the top and making some lines for the hair. When I get doing those lines, We'll, uh, we'll discuss it. Alright, so we trimmed these, made a quick slash, quick slash, slanted this back. Just kind of figuring out what shape I want to go with, you know, kind of shaping the head. Um, 
This guy is going to have his eyes down in here and his mouth down in here. So this is kind of going to be like his crazy hair. So right now I'm going to start using the side of my bar and making these swooping motions down. Okay, so that's straight. I'll be using the bar kind of like that. Now, it's important for you to be safe. Running your bar like this, using the nose, you're gonna get kicked back. This thing's gonna throw back at you. Have a good grip. Don't be slacking off. Pay attention to what you're doing because if you get caught, it's gonna be a bad day. So let's, uh, let's get this thing going again and we'll start making these angled cuts. Now, mind you, I'm not going straight in, tilting the saw and we're using it kind of at an angle to make these, uh, these cuts. And they're not going way deep in the wood. We're kind of surfacing, surfacing the wood. We're making hair. That's what we're doing. We're making something that is going to resemble hair. See that little bit of kickback? Start hitting these knots. It's gonna to wanna to throw that saw right in your face. So, good grip, paying attention. We're almost done. Got angle cuts going on here. Angling this way and that way. Working my way down to where the face is gonna be. All right, we're starting to take shape. Can you guys, uh, yeah, you guys should be able to see it. So you got this kind of hair flowing motion, right? Now it's time to take these off. I can't hear myself talk. Now these next cuts right here below, we're gonna start getting in deeper. So that's gonna start making where the hair looks like it's, the hair looks like it's kind of over the face like my hat, you know? And the eyes are kind of up in. Um, I know I'm using my 250 right now. If you got a smaller saw, use that. It's easier to control. You're using the tip of the bar at an angle where if it kicks back and you're not ready, I mean, you could bury that thing <laughs> in your collarbone or your face. So use a smaller saw if that's what you have. Just be safe. Um, so these next cuts, we're still making angles. We're gonna kind of angle it up in and follow the last line you made. So here's the last hairline I made. And I'm going to be cutting up into that line and removing some material so we're starting to get a three-dimensional look. That'll be our first 3D look. We're not going to cut any of this away yet. We're making that line. And then we're going to come in from the sides and angle the bar in and out. In and out. And that's going to start the bridge for the nose. Okay? I'll try to slow it down so you guys can, uh, can see where I'm at.
All right, kind of getting carried away here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see well. So I made a cut in, came down, made a cut in, came down, bridge of the nose, came down for nostrils. We made a cut over, cut over, and we're not going in super deep. I mean, the deepest part to that bridge at an angle, a little over a quarter of an inch. So it will look bigger once we're done though. Um, then I came in and made a swooping line this way and this way. This is going to be his mustache. Hopefully you guys can, can see it like I can. <clears throat> um, now what, I'm going to come in and kind of make a cut this way up here for like eyebrows. And then make some little cuts where the eyes are going to be. Um, well, at least the cut for the eyebrows. I might do the cut for the eyes with my dime tip bar. We'll get some more work done with this first and then we'll switch over to the dime tip. But right now, I'm making a cut for the eyebrows and angling so this nose is kind of rounded and taking away some meat to define our nose. And then we'll move into some hair on each side and shaping out the mouth and lower beard. We're going to do all that before we get into uh, the detail saw. Alright, can you see that cheek taking shape there? I did some of the hair here, it's coming down like sideburns. Still got this mustache upper that's there. I'm gonna come down, big round like this, bring it down. Do the same on the other side for that mustache. We'll cut a lower lip. When we get the detail bar out, we'll eventually hone this out. But then it'll be doing hair here, bringing it around. But you can see his cheek. Not going to do any more with that until I'm ready for the dime tip bar because then we'll bring this around for his eyes and start to hone that in. It's time to make this side match that side. All right, <clears throat> so we got the mustache, just did some quick lines, came down here for like the bottom of the lip. This is the top of the lip. 
which would be where the mouth opening is. Now I'm going to start cutting this away. His lip's kind of going to round out and down in. And then it'll be doing all the uh, beard underneath here. Now, it's okay if yours doesn't look exact. The whole point is to be artistic. Um, the goal is to make your own and have your own design. This is just kind of giving you some ideas and some techniques of how to handle the chainsaw and, you know, get you a general idea how to get started. Sometimes making those first cuts are the biggest challenge. So, um, beer, mustache is all set. I'm going to start carving this out and kind of shaping that lip. And then we'll get into throwing some hair underneath. So with that cut out, I'm going to start making that hair come down a little further to cover up, you know, the little bit up here. So you don't see an upper lip. I just want it to be covered with his mustache. So you see what I'm doing there with the saw? Kind of using it like it's the sander, just kissing the wood and kind of rounding it up for that lower lip. We're just about done with this. Just want it to round up, so I'm barely touching it. I'm not going full throttle. I have full control of the saw so it's not biting and ripping in. You're just kissing it and you're shaving it away. Now, if you do too much of that, you are gonna burn out the tip of this bar fairly quick on carvings, so. I don't see a need to run it full speed because that's going to make that happen even faster. But just a nice, you know, nice motion. And uh, I'm probably at like half throttle. If you got better control, go full throttle. You know, it's, it's totally up to you and how comfortable you are with your saw. Um, I don't want to hit my vise, so we're going to flip this guy upside down to do all the hair on, on uh, well, on his chin or his lower lip here. Upside down nose, mustache that lip we're gonna add like a beard all in here and that'll really start to uh, take shape for us that's gonna be just like in the beginning you're gonna use the side of the saw I'm actually gonna shape this away so his beard comes to a point and then I'll start adding the hair to it So that's done. I'm gonna grab the detail bar and uh, refine this piece. So while our guy's upside down, I'm gonna take the detail bar here and just kind of round this lower lip and make it so this hair doesn't have such a hard line so that it kind of rounds underneath it. Also, can you see these little grubs coming out? You might run into them as well. I'll have a little link popping up in the corner talking about grubs in the wood. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. If this is your first video, give this one a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget to do that. So, rounding this lower lip and making this hair look a little bit better.
that looks pretty good. Now, I understand not everybody will have a saw with a dime tip bar. That's fine. Work with what you got. Your technique will differ because you'll have to figure out how to make some of these cuts with just a regular bar. Now, you should be using a small saw, like a 170, a 180, a 200. Uh, steels, you know, MS-180, MS-170, MS-200, just small saws that come with a smaller uh, nose bar for smaller cuts like this. Um, basically, I'm just going to touch up any spot where I feel like the hair needs to be touched up, and I'm also going to go ahead and round these cheeks and kind of define this lower part of this nose. After that, we'll flip them back over and get into making some cuts for eyes. up using the dime tip it just kind of round and make a cut that kind of goes up and around and that's it we're not carving real eyes we're just making kind of like slices that look like eyes so stay with me now that looks pretty good you could just stop right there and be done you're done um, I actually want to make another cut below that so it kind of defines it a little bit more and then that'll be it for me. So. There he is, a little wood spirit. You know, he's about three foot tall, maybe eight inches across. Got his eyes, eyebrows, nose, his mouth. So the next step is to hit it with the torch. All right, so this torch will get the job done. It's just pretty slow going, so let's just do this. Done. All right, so at this point, it's time to grab the flap sander and flap sand this guy real quick. We'll torch it again real quick, and he'll be complete. Um, will be a link for that flap sander as well. Check out the description for tools. Uh, some of the tools I'm using in this video, and some are just the tools that I use in carving general and throughout all my videos, so you guys are able to purchase those. Um, all right, flap sander. I'll be right back. All right, so... Sandaflex flap sander. Got it, my Dewalt drill. Time to just hit this guy real quick. Dust mask's a good idea. All right, so bring you guys in for some closer shots here. Here is the carving, all done. It's ready for clear. My customer wants to clear it themselves, so that'll be up to them. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time.